while there is so many other natural alternatives that really just knock you out in all the best ways. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to say a few words on this chamomile extract. It's actually pretty cheap in this bulk supplements version. I think it's maybe 30 bucks for this huge bag, which is like 500 grams. I think that might be, I think it's about a pound, but anyways. Chamomile is one of those really unique supplements to where if you've heard of chamomile, you've probably heard of chamomile tea. I was trying to look for supplements or companies that capsule the chamomile, but to be honest, I wasn't finding very many brands that do it. At certain times, you want something to go to sleep. Most of the time when you think of things that would make you go to sleep, they're not really the healthiest thing for you. They're not really something you should be taking every day. Some things that come to mind is like Ambien or like Tylenol PM. I was talking to one of my buddies and he's like, yeah, I gotta go pick up some time all pm or i'm gonna take some just to go to sleep and i'm like wow there is so many other natural alternatives that really just knock you out in all the best ways and have a lot of health benefits and chamomile is one of them 100 percent i love sleep and i like having the option of taking something all natural like this that really really works knocks you out feel better in the morning you feel refreshed and then it also has other health benefits i'm just going to go over the claims that i found online some of these claims aren't like overly proven so so it's not like a fact that it's going to help these things, but a lot of people have had positive experiences in these categories. So the first one is reduces PMS pain. I would have no idea if it does that. Lowers blood sugar. Actually, a lot of these lower blood sugar, but I think a lot of people have that problem. Sugar tastes really good. You know, junk food tastes really good, and it's going to probably jack up your blood pressure. And that kind of goes along also with going to sleep too, because I would think if your blood pressure is kind of more relaxed, you could go to sleep in my opinion. Good for diabetes. Again, and it's not 100% gonna fix it, that's been proven, but lower blood sugar is probably gonna help diabetes. It's slowing or preventing osteoporosis. I don't know what that is, but I think it's something with your bones getting weak, so it's gonna protect your bones. Don't quote me on that one. Reduces inflammation, that's amazing, because almost all problems that you're gonna have in the body are caused by inflammation. So taking something that's anti-inflammatory is just gonna help at most situations, in my opinion. Cancer treatment and prevention, again, probably not 100% proven. Having something that's anti-inflammatory, I think, is is generally going to be helping you possibly if any sort of cancer or tumor comes up i would think anti-inflammatory just would help a little bit i don't know if it's going to fix everything though helps with sleep and relaxation a hundred percent that's kind of why i use it for sleep and relaxation it totally helps that also treating cold symptoms and it says it's good for mild skin conditions i haven't used this topically on my skin but i would hope that just taking it orally would help with my skin as well for the most time chamomile is just tea and I actually really like this because usually the tea is really dry leaves and this is actually it seems more sticky and dense I find that supplements that are sticky usually have good qualities to them in my opinion so I really like how that it seems more high quality and it's weird that you can't really get it in capsules too much also I found online that this is a mild tranquilizer and that kind of goes along with relaxation and going to sleep 100% I see that and there's other ones like lemon balm it has a very similar relaxing feeling I would actually say that lemon balm is very 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 similar to this almost like clones of each other lemon balm i find is more of anti-anxiety and relaxing versus chamomile is going to sleep it's more tranquilizing generally the pros that i get for this supplement is it's great for relaxation it says 800 milligrams is the dose right there i'll usually go for chamomile two to three pills for me it is pretty good you kind of feel it about an hour but it's like really really strong really noticeable to be i find that i'm pretty relaxed and refreshed the next day one of the things i like about chamomile and lemon balm is it's supposed to increase testosterone this is more of a male thing but to be honest i find that things that naturally increase testosterone probably have hormone balancing effects and i would assume if you're a female it probably would have some other good benefits to you too but that's kind of like a big problem for males especially when you're getting older you know the gyms aren't open right now and all these pretty much toxins in the food or toxins in the air all of it is going to lower your natural hormones and things like not only are you going to go to sleep really really nice but you're also going to boost your testosterone i really notice it in the morning i could definitely feel like a more of a testosterone boost to me personally because not only like are you going to sleep and it's enjoyable which also fixing possibly your hormones you're definitely not going to get that with something like ambient or tylenol pm the last pro of this is that the taste is actually really good well not really good but it's generally pretty good some of these supplements taste kind of bad some of these supplements are a little bit more earthy like i find that this actually tastes pretty good if you wanted to blend some fruit up or mix this in a whole blend 
it should taste pretty good, although I capsule it every time, so I, that was probably another pro. Some people, when I buy powders, they don't capsule them themselves, they put it in a drink. I think this actually tastes pretty good. I really almost don't have any cons with this supplement, guys. I really like it. It's all natural. It 100% works. If you're somebody who has trouble going to sleep, try taking like four or five of these. I don't live a crazy, crazy lifestyle. Like, I don't take a lot of stimulants late. I pretty much don't drink any alcohol. I don't really take any prescription, like anything. If you're taking a lot of this stuff, maybe your body is really unbalanced and you need to take more of this. I know alcohol is really, really strong. Sometimes when I would want something to work after I've been drinking, I have to take a lot. But for me, I really don't drink. The only other con is it might cause drowsiness. So if you're taking this, I'll just get the testosterone boost or get any of the other health benefits like the, the reducing inflammation, things like that. It may make you drowsy. It may make you tired. That's what you're taking. If for, but if you were to take it and you ended up having to do something, you probably wouldn't enjoy it because you'd be so tired. That's pretty much the only other con. There's a lot of tips that I have for sleep, and one of the tips, in my opinion, is um, intermittent fasting, basically eating anything past a certain time and letting your body just digest all the stuff that you've had throughout the day. I feel more awake sometimes by doing that, so if you were to take this right before bed, you're kind of stopping that intermittent fasting and forcing your body to digest when it was already trying to digest and get rid of all the other stuff that you ate in the day and kind of file it away. So I do find that not taking something every single night is good and sometimes going for that intermittent fasting feeling like if you're really hungry and you're tired, just go to sleep and skip this. But if you're kind of awake and you want to go to sleep, you know, and you, you know, want something that's going to knock you out, then go for this. I wouldn't recommend taking it every night. And then I also mix up what I take. I don't really take the same thing maybe two or three days in a row. This is just so it's more effective. I could take this pretty much all the time. I'm pretty much going to always get that effect. But to me, I switch it up, you know, uh, quite a bit. And there's so many other ones. If you end up liking this and you want to try some other ones, I recommend lemon balm, passion flower, maybe some tryptophan and some valerian root as well. I find that they're all pretty good. Let me know what you think of chamomile. Have you tried the chamomile tea? Have you tried the extract? Very few people have tried it in this form. I think a lot of people have tried it in the tea. And I think this is much, much more potent just because of stickiness and the, it just feels like it, it has more nutrients in it than dry tea leaves. Let me know what you think of chamomile extract. Have you tried the teas? Have you tried the powder? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.